Well, for more on the story, let's talk to Luisi Pedroza. She is a research fellow at the Giga Institute for Latin American Studies in Hamburg. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. So Mexico is planning to deploy an extra 6,000 troops to try to stem the flow of refugees coming up through its country. What impact do you think that's going to have? First of all, that's going to have an impact in the lives of so many people that live, that make a living out of trans-border economies. That's going to make life very difficult for them. And that's going to, of course, make migrants very wary of trying to cross the border to Mexico. Do you think it will actually solve the problem? No. No, this problem cannot be solved by militarizing a border. It's a problem that is deeply rooted in the societies, in the political systems of the countries of the Northern Triangle and Central America. And if we don't address those causes, the problem will not stop. What is driving migration from Central America up through Mexico into the U.S.? Because if we don't address those problems or the, the sources, the drivers, of course, it will be very difficult to, to stop it. What, what is driving it? Political crisis. We have a government that has been imposed in Honduras. That is a big driver of uh, migration from Honduras. It's the lack of economic opportunities for so many migrants. It's the widespread criminality and violence in El Salvador that is especially threatening for young men, young boys. That's what is causing this uh, unstoppable flight of people. Is the U.S. working with Mexico and other countries in the region to address those fundamental causes of migration? It is not. That is Mexico's plan to stop the migration flow, and that's the President López Obrador's plan to stop migration flow, would be to address those causes more fundamentally by investing in the economies of these three countries. But the U.S. is not uh, ready to join such a plan. What options does Mexico have in its efforts to to address the flow itself, getting away from the causes now, but to avoid the sanctions or the tariffs that, are, uh, that the U.S. is threatening and looks like will now be imposed? Well, very few options. If we just look at the economies of Mexico and the U.S., the, the huge power imbalance, the huge power asymmetry between these two countries, it's obvious that Mexico has very few options, also because uh, it's very powerless on the economic side because we the, the Mexican economy is very dependent on exports to the United States. But uh, the only option that Mexico has is to try to separate these issues and to vehemently uh, reject the connection of migration to economic policies. Migration is a social issue, and that's what the current government, government is trying to, to uh, portray it as, as, as a social and economic issue, but not an issue that should be addressed with tariffs. Luisi, thank you very much for talking with us today. Luisi Pedroza, research fellow at the Giga Institute for Latin American Studies in Hamburg. Thank you.